Good morning guys and welcome back to what is going to be my first vlog on camp. I am here, I've arrived, I'm so excited. It's currently 6.51, it's really early. I was up, I don't know if it's jet lag or if I'm just excited. Um, I was up at about half five and I was doing some editing and I was like, you know what, I want to get out and about. It's a little bit chilly but we're going on a little walk and yeah, I want to take you along with me. I want to do like a day in the life vlog today. Um, a few people arrived later on the buses so it's going to be super excited seeing a few people and yeah, like look how beautiful. I'm just so excited to be here. It's so weird being back because it doesn't feel like it's been that long since I have been here, but also feels like I've lived like seven different lifetimes since been at camp. So I do want to do a camp tour video, but I think I'm going to film that when Meg, Summer and Sally get here today. So maybe film it tomorrow, um, just because I think it'd be funny to do it all together. So that's the plan, but yeah. But yeah, as of right now, I'm just having a little wonder. It is, like I say, super quiet this morning. No one's going to be up and about. We've got breakfast at half eight and then yeah, we'll get on with the day. We haven't got much on. We've got a meeting at 11 and then lunch and then head staff have a meeting this afternoon and then the buses will start to arrive. So it's going to be a pretty nice chill day. So yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to have a little walk and I'll update you if I do anything fun. Um, but yeah, definitely go and follow my TikTok because I'm going to be posting, I think, a lot more over there just because I find it's easy to get content on my phone when I'm at camp than on my camera. Um, I don't like taking my camera out and like out everywhere because chances are I'm going to leave it somewhere or it's going to get broken. So yeah, go follow my TikTok because there'll be way more over there. Guys, I can't deal with actually how beautiful it is. It was a bit cloudy this morning. It's like as soon as I've come out, it's like clear blue skies this is honestly beautiful um i've just seen andy and mike um so andy's our camp director and mike is an assistant camp director and oh it's just so nice to be back and see everyone head staff returning staff new staff it's just it's like i'm back home genuinely feels like i'm back home um look how about you right now how insane is this everything's just so peaceful i love getting up this early in the morning because genuinely everything is just Oh, I just love it. But then it's so nice as well to realise that over the next few days, camp is going to get so busy. And like today, there's a load of people arriving. Tomorrow, we don't have anyone arriving. And then nearly everyone is here by Thursday. So as the week goes on, it just gets so much busier, which is insane. I'm so excited. Um, but what time are we on now? It is. I've just been taking like, loads of photos and videos and just enjoying being back. It's currently 7.05, so I've got an hour and a half until breakfast. So I might just keep on wandering around, have a little mooch, and then yeah just then head back and then go for breakfast and yeah i'm excited to bring you along for the day and show you what we're up to like a lot of these clips i might just have to maybe record and then put a voiceover or do something because it's not all day i'm going to be able to just sit and do this um oh i just feel so happy honestly guys i can't believe that i'm here i'm like i've had so many messages as well guys about you all asking me if i'm going to keep uploading throughout the summer my aim is to stay on top of uploading because my role has changed slightly, my time off will change slightly as well. I actually have a little bit more time off. So it's going to be quite nice in terms of me getting stuff filmed and edited. Editing is the issue. I can film things for days, but then sitting down and actually editing it is where I don't have as much time. So I'm hoping this year it's going to be so much easier. I'm aiming for at least three videos a week. If I can do that, I will be so, so happy. Um, a lot of them, I just want to have like vlogs throughout the summer and then a few like sit down videos. I'd love to film some videos with other people on camp as well, which would be unbelievable. So yeah, I am going to stand up uploading. Like I said at the start, I will upload a lot more on TikTok, I think just because it's easier to manage and it doesn't take as long editing and stuff. But yeah, I want to keep the YouTube bandwagon rolling because, because it's just so fun. It's one of my favorite things to do, just making videos and helping you guys and allowing you to see the amazing things that can come from coming to a summer camp, honestly. I've literally just come and sat down, like gymnastics is over here and I just saw Andy and he was like, oh, like this is where it all began. Like obviously I started working at gymnastics and I've done that for the past three years. So it's gonna be so weird not being down there every day, but I'm so excited for this new role. And yeah, I wanna do like little check-ins. I think I said this last year, I wanted to do like a video journal and just update you on how things are going, include little clips from the summer. I would love to do that, but I suppose that's what, that's what vlogging is really, isn't it? That's a video diary. So yeah, I wanna stay on top of it, but like sit you down and just talk about how things are going, how my new role's going, how it's been like seeing the girls again and just everything in total and just everything in general. So <laughs> stay tuned. Hello guys, I'm currently back in my room and I thought I'd do you a little room tour of where I'm staying now. Obviously I'm not in bunk this year, which is gonna be super weird, but I'm super excited for this new job, this new role, everything. And yeah, I thought I'd do you a little update. I wanted to like do a get unpacked with me, like film a video, but I just wanted to get done last night. I did it so quick and everyone was in the room. We were just chatting and catching up. So I haven't done that, but I wanna show you like how it's now done. I'm still tweaking with a few bits. I have a lot of stuff. I did not realize how much stuff I had left at camp. So a lot of it I'm gonna give up, like, just give to people at camp, whether it's Tyler Hill stuff or just old clothes or spirit stuff give it out to people because I'd rather other people use it than me have genuinely the most amount of clothes I've ever seen in my entire life. So 
I'm going to show you what this looks like and yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is my bed. This was bedding that I bought in Target yesterday. This pink um, husband pillow I had before and this is like my, <laughs> this is my disaster zone at the moment. Um, I've got my shoes and stuff under the bed and then I need to work out where to organise these. I do have some more bins like this that I think would be nice to maybe stack. This is mine as well so I can fill that up but I just did the, like, I just did the main bulk of everything yesterday but there's still some little bits to go. Um, this is going to be Ashley's bed. She's not here yet. I think she's coming in today but then she's popping back and forth and then this is Jamie's bed so it's literally like been in like a full-on little sorority dorm and then this at the moment we're going to try and clear all this. this is my suitcase that actually got broken on the flight over here this is the stuff that I'm going to I think um just give to some people that come to camp and then yeah we have a little sink station this is a big closet and then our bathrooms and showers are like out on the main hall so yeah it's so nice to be like settled because normally at camp I moved like four times last year at different bunks and you move in orientation and then you go to your division so it's nice I've been able to unpack and get settled straight away even though everything looks a little bit crazy but I'm so glad that it's all done and yeah I think I'm gonna get I have some like other bedding so I'm probably gonna swap between this and like some different bedding so yeah I'm so excited but I'm gonna go for breakfast now and yeah update you throughout the day I'm excited to bring this along and show you what we get up to Hello guys, it's currently a few days later. I have completely lost my voice. Um, it's the first official day of orientation today and it is around, I want to say 4.30. So I haven't got any content since I last vlogged and I'm the worst for it. I knew I would do this because I just forget to take my camera with me and sometimes I don't want to have my camera on me. But I'm going back out for another activity and I think I'm going to take it and just get a little overview of what we're doing. And then I'll just maybe do a voiceover or just add some music over it. But yeah, my voice is completely gone because I've just been screaming and shouting and singing for the last few days. Um, like I say, orientation officially started today. Everyone got in last night or yesterday. I had to go to Newark Airport and pick everyone up. And it was a very long day. I was there for... I left camp at 11 and didn't get back till 9.30, so it was a long day. But yeah, orientation has been so much fun already. I love orientation so much, as you guys do know. Um, I have been vlogging, like I've been getting so many clips on my phone. So when this goes live, I will put my uh, TikTok down below because I, like I say, I am putting more on TikTok than vlogging and YouTube and stuff, which is a shame because I want to have it on here because, I don't know, it's just so nice to be able to stand and talk to the camera. But yeah. It hasn't been working out as of now, but I'm going to try and change that. So, yeah, I'm going to take you along. I have currently moved rooms as well, so I am just moving all my stuff into this new room. Um, I'll explain that later, but yeah, exciting times. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Now quit looking at me and look at the action. 